our quattro d and that is the stamp okay so we bring that in let me just get those out of the way and um, with the um the stamps by me inks obviously you've used those for the multiple layers do yes. you have to heat dry that or just leave it for a few moments and it's no good to i go? mean it's it's pretty quick to dry absolutely and i don't mind sometimes when it kind of mixes in with the colors okay. that i'm using i'm not bothered you could put a little bit of heat over it if you wanted to if you're a bit worried but as i say it dries pretty quickly oh, lovely and so, this is the beauty of having the eureka now because you can line everything up perfectly so i just take a minute this is kind of the thing that takes there's two things i think take the most time and I think it's worth it making sure that your stamp lines up and making sure that in the embossing lines up those are okay. two things that I would recommend just taking a little bit of a beat now you could do this in a dark black um, you know you could do it in another color and I'm just going to actually use a gold Ooh, just to add okay, a little bit of shine yeah. now it's not a particularly bright gold so it's not necessarily going to show you all the detail but I like to add this on just to kind of give it a little bit of a shine okay so as i say um we've got the stamp here on our little door and it's in the right place now because that stamp's being held and my paper's being held by my magnets they're good strong hinges there as well they are mm. really good so we're just going to do a little tippy tap across like you're i don't know going on a typewriter or something gosh that's old <laughs> 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 so just to make sure you've got everything and as i said this isn't a particularly dark oh, color but already wow. you get to see that now i could go again that is fabulous. and go darker if i wanted to but i like that it just kind of kisses the color yes, there just yeah. a real kiss color but because i've got the door here i could add some more ink and then i could layer it again but i'm not going to do that so I'm just going to bring my flower off here. Um, Lewis is flo um, floor in the show today. He said it looks like a pressed flower, and it does actually. Oh, it does. The there, Very so, yeah. nice. Oh, I, I like, like it. that. Pretty. So then what we've got is, so now, you could absolutely leave it like this. If you wanted to, you'd probably have to cut it down, because obviously I've made a little bit mess at the top. But I knew I was going to use my dye, so it but didn't you matter. Know, the thing that I love about this as well, if you are feeling um, perhaps that extra bit of creative, you could add those little shadows. You could mm -hmm. add the depth to it just by hand. Absolutely. So it's kind of enhancing your regular crafting. It's not taking away from that creativity. No, and I love the fact that these work so beautifully alone mm. like if i just wanted to stamp out the stamp maybe do some watercolor on it yeah. i could do if i just wanted to die cut it and add some shading in i could it kind of um holds you with the crafts that you enjoy doing yeah. God, terrible that is. I've just got some washi tape and i've peeled off the walls oh. <laughs> but, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line this up to make sure but remember it's okay it's a die so if it come comes a little bit off kilter you don't have to worry because you've got it's that paper and card, isn't it at Absolutely. the end of the day that's all it is, is this actually gonna work? Oh, it is um, now the quattro d die that we're looking at for the sunflowers you're actually getting two within this set mm -hmm. i will show you everything that you're getting but you've got all these different technique um, techniques coming together which i think is brilliant and you've got 26 pounds saving so if you're wanting to take advantage of these you can do all the information is there just very briefly there you go that's the second set that you've got within this one so not only the sunflower but also those additional flowers as well giving you all sorts of different possibilities so you can have loads of fun with these the layering stencil the stamps the outline die there and of course that embossing detail which is what we're doing now so you're actually um, oh so you're die cutting at the moment yeah you've got the embossing folder then so we'll do the embossing a second now this goes through my stamps by me which i think is sort of six by six and that goes through fine as does the embossing folder so i've sent it through don't just i've got my washi tape on there so just make sure i pop it out and don't tear any of the card so we've got our oh, flower cute. cut out and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our embossing folder okay. now this is a tip from the lovely tony herself what she says this is why i love about tips they're good to share everyone gets a benefit from them is that what you're going to do you've got the reason if you've never seen an embossing folder you get a recess on it that is outwards so you feel um, you can actually feel the flower then you get it kind of dipped mm -hmm. now what you want to do this the the, um, the raised part raised it, yeah. is your back if you want to just do embossing if you want to do debossing it's going to be slightly different but um, this is your raised part so what T so Tony says going to push from the back from the back right. to push okay. up absolutely so what Tony says is just take the flower and line it up with the part that's got the um, the recess in it and just mm -hmm. makes as I said like I said this is the bit where I just like to take a few beats it's to make sure I've got it. it. Yeah. I think it is worth doing that time. Now, um, this is my die cutting machine again from Stamps by Me. Obviously, if you're going to be doing embossing, I'm sure you'll know what embossing plate you well, need to do for it. There is different isn't combinations. There is different combinations. on the manufacturers, yeah. So we'll send that through. And you can now see our beautiful card. 
Oh so my look, goodness, uh, can look you see at the that. detail on that? Wow. So you'll see all that detail that comes through when you send it through the embossing. And also what's really lovely is if you look at the deboss, that looks stunning as well. So you could absolutely be inking on that if you wanted to. Um, so there we go. I've got a card here that I made before and you'll see here that I've actually just done it in the back in a grey scale as well, almost to look like a little shadow. That's nice. I like that effect. Yeah. So again, again, you can see the same colours. But, it. but again, I love the fact that this one, you wouldn't necessarily know it, but that is the gold ink that we used and then two other ink colours and yet you still get that beautiful detail and that light and shade. I love it. Thank you very much. Thank so 503499 if you fancy getting hold of that. Now, of course, during shows like this, there's going to be a lot of goodies going into that basket. The fabulous thing is your post and packing is capped at £3.95 and here's Dan and Nigel to explain more. You get the goodies, I'll get the door. OK. Hello, Creative Craft Delivery. Wow, this is the biggest order I've ever seen. Haven't you heard? If you order anything from Create and Craft now, it's a cat PMP of three ninety five per order. Cat PMP of only three ninety five for all of this? Yes, it doesn't matter what you order or how many different items you buy. What? Even the really heavy stuff like this? Yes, sewing machines, die cutting machines, everything in the van. Oh, there we go. That's the last of it. I don't think they're at home. We'll have to come back later. I'll warm up the van. Oh, hi! Fancy a cuppa? Oh, yes. That'll be lovely. Chop, chop, Dan. Order two or more items from Create and Craft and we'll cap your postage at just three ninety-five. no matter how many different items you buy. Shopping at Create and Craft just got even better. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. To be right? fair, I will be honest, they were counting down in my ear and I totally waited to come back <laughs> up. <laughs> like, come on, come on, <laughs> now, just as Helen gets herself ready for the next demonstration, I'm just going to give you a very quick recap. Um, I'll be speedy quick, but um, speedy quick so as you can see all of the fabulous bargains that we've got for you. Kicking things off with the duo pack. Now, this is made up of gorgeous papers and vellums. Um, it's kind of like a, 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 a kind of collaboration between Tony and Teresa, um, and of course, Teresa Collins, I'm sure you're aware of a fabulous designer um, based over in America. And she's got this lovely kind of um, palette that she regularly works with these soft tones that just look so beautiful alongside those kind of clean cut images that you can see within here as well. Now these are your 12 by 12 papers. You've got gorgeous watercolour images in there, fabulous prints, some wonderful toppers that you're going to be able to utilise. And whether you're using these for your scrapbook pages, whether you're using them for your card making, they course work with your planners as well, which Teresa is a big fan of, but absolutely beautiful artwork throughout and brilliant value for money because you're actually getting both of the packs for that price on your screen now they are double-sided pages so you've got lots of content in there and of course the beauty is you are getting them within that bundle and a five pound sixty pence saving but it doesn't stop there you're going to get your vellums now your vellum and um, vellums your vellums are going to complement the fabulous uh, 12 by 12. that's kind of doing it speedy quick i'm convert bringing all those words together so here you go you've got your a5 vellums there and again uh, reiterating those gorgeous designs that we saw from the 12 by 12 £23.38, 446843 if you fancy getting those together, which many of you are. Scooting along to the next item, this is where we've got a kind of a, kind of a duo um, theme going on, embossing folder alongside the die. But this isn't just any ordinary embossing folder, it's got loads and loads of detail in there. You've got the little tiny lines, as you can see, little dots, shading dots. You've almost got the effect that you have kind of gone in with a tool and almost embossed it. Imagine this in parchment it would look amazing now of course what you can do first of all is actually die cut your vellum potentially or your paper or card before you actually put it through the embossing folder and of course your die is there to enable you to do so but when you put the two together uh, that is when you get those incredible results because the embossed detail comes through on that fabulous butterfly that you have created and as
as you can see there, you've got all that detail there. You've got a little vellum it's one as well. Yeah. Oh, Look at the back. It looks you. like work, white work on the back. Oh, that is so pretty. Absolutely beautiful. I think that's using some of the vellums that we've got on the it show is as indeed. well. indeed, yep. But look, does it. it look like you've done a load of white work on it? Beautiful. Like, yeah, Absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it kind of just takes shape as well. Mm -hmm. um, so £13.49, pence. that's where you've got your embossing folder alongside the die. It's a very popular item. So 566078. Then you've got your Quattro D. Now your Quattro D is exactly what we saw a few moments ago those four different techniques coming together to create the most incredible finished results and you've got two finished designs with these beautiful sunflowers that we saw in action and then that gorgeous kind of spring bloom look which could be created using whatever colors you like to be fair I mean you've got blue on the packaging certainly looks nice in blue when you actually see the finished samples as well and of course the strength of the color is entirely up to you you're adding that detail yourself now of course you've got the embossing folder so that means that you could utilize it in other areas as well so a bit of a metallic cardstock working with that one in the backdrop there using your inks using your pens with these as well just getting some absolutely incredible results and of course as we saw earlier the sunflower an incredible piece of that particular bundle and i love this one's very arty look to this one as well it's almost like a positive and negative isn't it with that letter press look so 53 pounds and 98 pence it's getting you in effect eight different kind of levels because you've got four relating to the sunflower four relating to the spring flowers but you don't have to use them all together just stamp just die cut just emboss just die cut whichever which you want to work with then you can do five zero three four nine nine now moving along this is a layering stencil and this is brilliant because what you've got in this particular one are the different levels of your stencil so you can see on the side here you've got your four stencils but if I flip it over the technique will be explained to you because you work through them in a similar way to the Quattro G that we saw a few moments ago layering one color on top of the other until you get that finished look when the design all comes together now again it might be that you just want to pick out certain elements you don't have to use it all together but when you do bring it together it looks absolutely amazing and it comes with the dye as well so it's going to cut out those beautiful flowers and again everything that we saw previously with the um, the stencils the little hearts for the locators they are all there and then ultimately you've got your dye to allow you to cut out that finished piece that you've created 776 680 just 17.99 if you are a club member now of course throughout her demonstrations lovely Helen has been working with her Eureka we're gonna have a proper good look at this in a few moments lots of you've been taking advantage and lots of you email in about yours as well now this is a brilliant price not only is it brilliant price but you're also getting extras in this as well so you're going to get your main eureka you're going to get your magnets and of course all the benefits that we spoke of with regards to the cover where you're going to attach your stamps so it's going to come with a little carry case which i say a little carry case it's a good size and it's almost like a felted fabric there so it's going to really protect your um, your stamp press or your your eureka gosh that's not easy to say in addition you are going to get your scoreboard and this is brilliant because it's double sided so you can see all of your little kind of lines there helping you create your different fancy folds potentially with your cards and your projects but then if we flip it over you're even going to be able to create things like your boxes and your envelopes and different bits and pieces too so that is included within the bundle as is the tool to allow you to get those score lines in place 058619 if you fancy getting hold of that now can i suggest you hop onto the website reason being that's where you'll find everything that we've been chatting about so lots and lots of goodies to be had i can't believe we've only got about 15 minutes left on the show now obviously if you're a club member you've got that lower price with regards to your eureka but you can see that you have got reviews there um, and uh, if you want to check those out then you can do five star reviews but i think the fact that we see so many of them I mean, our studios, Helen, from different guests coming in, Absolutely. representing different companies. I agree all with the choices that they could do, kind of use whatever tools mm -hmm. they like but they use the Eureka absolutely I mean this is something as I said to you that I have on my craft desk all the time I'm never without it because it's so versatile um, I like to say that it's very basic level it is a stamping precision press that's what I use it for the most but there is so much more to the Eureka so um, as Hayley was commenting on when you get a little um, pouch to keep it in like a little clutch um, case very posh I always like it it's like when you get a handbag and it's got its own bag oh yes I always think yeah. something's a bit posh when it's got its own little bag to put stuff in <laughs> um, so this is what and I've had mine for quite a few years now and okay it's got a bit of glitter on it and stuff like that but <coughs> what is the important part is that it keeps my Eureka tidy okay or at least it's not clean 
it keeps it safe because as we've already discussed <laughs> mine is very dirty um, so what happens when you get it first again like I was saying if you've never seen one of these before at its basic level if we just pop down some card here you're going to get one magnet now I've popped two in but one is good enough so let's just use the one you do get two magnets oh though, you do you? Yeah, oh, sorry, oh okay yeah. perfect yeah. sorry I was I was thinking you get the one. Oh, um, I think I'm, you get I'm two. not sure mm. I'm not sure yeah, one bar I magnet, I thought so, I but thought I just have two, two because I find oh, that a bit easier. But okay. it's, it's up to you um, if you want to pop another magnet in right. there, but it's, the one is good enough. So as you can see, I've got my um, sunflower here, and I pick it up as we were doing. So say, uh, let's just pop some black ink on, not be too precious about where we put it. Okay. And, and also you've up. got the, the kind of the cover underneath it. It's not the best scenario, but you're kind of showing that you exactly. can really stamp. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, so you've, you've stamped it up a little bit, you've tapped it a little bit, and what you can see is I've clearly missed spots. Yes. And that's not only because I didn't tap very much, I can you can clearly see that I didn't put a lot of ink on. So you yeah. think, well, if you've done this with a stamping block, trying to line it up, I mean, Maybe you've got super duper uh, sight and you can line it up perfectly, but I personally cannot line them up perfectly with a block. In fact, I very rarely use a block because of that fact. Uh, so you see here, I've stamped it back up. I'll be a little bit more precise now about where I do my tippy tapping. And there you, you go. That. Oh, see, we've missed, right, okay. So you see here, I've okay. missed a tiny little bit of the sunflower. Now, a little bit of a tip from me to you is don't immediately think that you've missed that place. Sometimes you've just not pushed down in that spot. So go back in, push down, and you'll probably see oh, that the ink was, all, was still there. I just hadn't pushed down in your, that spot. Your tippy tappies didn't go far enough. My tippy tappies didn't go far enough up the Eureka. <laughs> but because I've got the Eureka, it doesn't matter. Eureka, it's done it for me. <laughs> so that's the sort of basic level of what we got. But also, say, as you say, if you're out there traveling, you like to do, so we could do some watercolor with this. We could pop our watercolors in here. You can see I've still got a little bit left from some of the other projects that I've done. If I spritz that with a mister or a little mm -hmm. bit of water, that would reactivate it and I could use this as almost my desk. Okay. Also, now you saw earlier when I was doing the stenciling, I used my foam pad um, as a stencil, not to work, you know, or to stencil on, that was fine. If you find that you're, you know, you're gonna do some stenciling, but maybe your piece of card is quite small or something like that, you don't necessarily wanna go straight onto your foam pad because you might get mess on it, although I clearly don't care. Um, but what you can do is you can take it out. Okay. You could pop your card in. This is a super strong magnet, so it works through the foam. So obviously it's gonna also work on the actual map board itself. You could then come in with a stencil, even if it's hanging off the edge, go in and ink. Or just so is this how you would use, say if you've got the um, the, um, the foam stamps, you know, like the, the thicker foam stamps or the red rubber stamps Absolutely. with the, this the is foam so on the back? The, the, oh, the right, reason that okay. Tony did it was because if you've got the grey the gray yeah. stamps that have got thicker bases, you'd still be able to stamp with them because you've got that excess, the, the extra sort of recess. Also, as I said to you earlier, if you're stamping onto maybe like an MDF uh, tag or something like that,